All done. Woof. What's that? While cash flow is crucial to our survival, we need to keep an eye on profits. We need to make sure we charge our customers enough so that we cover our costs and make a profit. We track the cost of each job we work on. In QuickBooks, we use items to track the products and services we use on each project. So here are some transactions you need to record in QuickBooks. Welcome to chapter four. This chapter is all about the customer. And when talking about the customer, the main place you're gonna find information about them is in the customer center on the top toolbar. So why don't you go up there and go ahead and click customer center. This is where everything happens. On the left hand side, it lists all of your customers with any remaining balances that they have with your company. On the right is all the customer information you have on that particular customer and below that are lists of transactions that you've entered into. Now you're going to learn how to enter a new customer. It's as simple as clicking on new customer and here you'll find everything you need to input about your new customer from their name to their address info any additional info you might have on them their payment details, and job info we're going to worry about later. Uh, another thing you need to know is how to edit, and that can be found again on the top right. So just click edit, and it opens up the screen we were just at, and you can edit anything you need to do. When you're finished with that, just click OK. Now, of course, customers are going to have jobs, so go to the same place where you're adding a new customer and go ahead and click on new job. This is where the job info comes into play. Here you're going to put the start date, the end date, uh, and any other information that you need to know about this job. When you're finished, click OK. That's it for the customer center. Uh, it's a very important aspect of QuickBooks and uh, you will be here quite a lot. To create a sales receipt, we're going to click on Create Sales Receipt in the Customer section. For this example, we're going to pick a customer. After you pick the customer, the info will fill in automatically. Choose an item. After you have chosen the item, you can fill in the quantity, the rates, and you can even add a memo. The total shows at the bottom. Hit save and close when you're done. Click on the customer invoice in the customer section. Choose the customer. Here you will see the customer information such as the address, payment options, and etc. Next you will need to select the item. Once you select the item, you can pick the quantity, the rate, the amount. You can also pick if you want the invoice to be printed or email. Save and close. To receive customer payments, go to Receive Payments under the Customer section. Select the customer. Notice the amount of balance due. Enter the payment amount. From there, you click on the account to which they are paying. Notice that the payment balance will update at the bottom of the screen and click save and close. Customer reports are also very helpful when determining anything from your company about payables or sales. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at that right now. To do that, go up to the report center and find customers and receivables. These are all of the reports that you need to know about your customers. Uh, things like accounts receivable aging summaries. Uh, maybe accounts receivable graphs. 
uh, collections reports, customer balance details. All of these customer reports are very important to a company from showing how much money is owed to you to how much money you make by each person. That's it for chapter four. I hope you learned a lot about customers and everything that comes with them. Now go do your homework. Finish that beneficio job, Miss Castle. There you go, bud. Have fun with that. Man, her dog Rex did a number on that door. It's no wonder she wanted us to fix it before we party tonight. But it looks better than ever now. Yeah, we want to keep Mrs. Beneficio happy. She'll be a good customer. All right. See you later. Yeah. Mrs. Beneficio called earlier today to tell us she's very pleased with her new bathroom door. However, yes. she ordered the the locking hardware for the door, and she just received the standard hardware. So we sent a workman out there, and um, she paid us once uh, once the hardware was replaced. Uh, well, we need to record a credit for the credit uh, to her account, and um, a credit for the standard hardware, and then record a change for the locking hardware set.